Welcome to day four of this week's week of webisodes, and we're taking a look at spring things. Yay. And from Crafters <laughs> Companion, they have a new group of their Desire cutting dies. They're called Edgeables. Mm -hmm. We have Edgeables, and we have Edgeables Just Words. And we have projects using the Edgeables. Right. Come, Come play, play with them. us. Here they are. Now, you can see that there's two styles. You can tell by right. the colors. So right. we have pink edgeables. We have pink edgeables. <laughs> and then we have sort of the burgundy just words edgeables. Right. So, okay. So we're going to take the uh, words and scoot them over whoops, right. for the time mm -hmm. being. And we're going to start with these gorgeous edgeables. Yes. Yeah, so we've got some hiding un underneath. But the first look. thing about them is that what you see on the front of here is not the actual size. And we're right. trying to hide it, but there it is. <laughs> Here's the actual size of, and most of them I think are about the same size. Yeah, they're a little over five inches by two inches right. tall. So let's see, there you this go. This is the back, this is the cutting edge side, and these will cut and emboss. Right, And um, but to do the embossing, you do need a little assistance. Right. And that's going to come in the form of this silicone rubber uh, texture. Uh, Textures plate. embossing right. mat is what we call it, and yeah, it is a rubberized mat, and I just want to mention that the way I do it, I'll put this on my paper, so I've got the, I've got the paper on top of the cutting die, I run it through my machine, and then I use, I place the textures embossing mat on top of the paper, well you can't see that, on top of that paper and I run it through again. Well, you do it a second time. I do it a second now, time because if you run it through the first mm -hmm. time, it doesn't always cut all the way through with that oh. textures embossing. So let it cut the paper first. Right. Now, so you're telling me, I want to yes. make sure, okay. that um, the cutting side is going to go into the mat. Right, right, right. And it's, it's going to have the paper on there. I'm going to okay, have the right. paper on there. It's going to go through the machine like that, and then while it's still on there, because I usually tape it in place, yeah. Then I place that rubber uh, mat against the paper in between my sandwich platforms. Yeah. Run it through again, and what it does? And it doesn't destroy the mat. It does not. It's it, you know, it's going to put small cuts in. It's not. It shouldn't really go all the way through. If okay. it's going all the way through, you've got way too much pressure in your machine. <laughs> it's kind of a self-healing mat in okay. respect. It, it can take it. And the thing that it's going to do is it's going to press the paper through right. those areas in the back. Otherwise, do the it embossing. doesn't really. If you put the rubber on the other side, it doesn't really press the paper through those okay. those openings. Good to know. Okay. So our first one. Well, let's see. There's Victoriana. There mm -hmm. is a floral dance. There are butterfly dreams. There's Renaissance. I've got to keep these in order. <laughs> and there's also uh, a doily lattice. So we'll give you some examples of many of these. But you can right? see, pretty, pretty intricate. Yeah. The thing that makes them different, we're going to show you in just a minute, is that they're made for putting on the edge of the card. And it won't cut this entire shape out. It'll just cut out parts of it, which you're about to see. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start with the scrapbook page first. Yay! Yay! And uh, there it is. We'll get a little bit closer. And so we can see that we're starting with that Victoriana. Victoriana and floral dance. Of course. And so you see the Victoriana <laughs> on this side of, the, of that mat. And isn't that beautiful? That is so stunning. Right away, you see that it isn't a separate piece that has been completely cut out. It was placed on the edge of the paper. Right. I'm going to show you that. It cuts out the edge and all of this, this uh, cut work on the inside, but it leaves it connected. So that's the edgeable part of it. It's right. going along the edge of your paper. Right. Okay. So on it to make that mat, so Susan made this large piece. Look in the gallery for the dimensions. She placed the edgeable right there. And I, I want to point out, if you really have to get in close to see this, there's a tiny little point here that's on both sides and that's a part that's going to cut right up to there. So when you remove this, oh, so you know, you can see that little cut line. That happens on both sides of that cutting die and then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to cut right up to that point. Am I where you can see me? Yeah, there you go. There we go. 
Oh, so okay, this, to release the paper yeah, then. So this part gets removed. And that's okay. that little cut there is just a guide to let you know where to cut it, where okay. to remove. So now that end piece has been removed. Remove it. And that's what you have. So it will just cut up to that point. You can just release it, and there's that beautiful edgeable on Gorgeous. one side. Mm -hmm. And then Susan used the daisy uh, or whatever the floral, <laughs> floral dance. Okay. To do right those here. little tiny little daisy type pieces on the other side. And on the floral dance, these little petals are separated, so you can lift them up. Right now. Even though this is going to go in a sheet protector, um, it's still going to have a little bit of dimension mm -hmm. even when that is uh, pressed down or, onto it. Or if it. it's flat, you notice that even if it's flat, you can see yeah, you can. the cut work. So it makes this beautiful design. I love that some of them are co totally cut out and some of them are just sort of released in that way. And then she placed it on black cardstock. Right, which is very striking. Cut around the edges to mat it. So she's got this piece just at this end and then and that added other piece. jewel dazzle. So it's it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's very, very nice. A really good example of how you can use those edgeables. Now, and then here, again. Here's another just down at the bottom. Right. So just creating a really sweet uh, accent frame, um, not well, I guess you could go all the way around it, mm -hmm. but you can just go on one edge or two edges right. um, as Sure, you done. could. If you if you decided to double this, put one on the top yeah. and the bottom of a, of a picture, and that, that's great for scrapbooking because they're such a generous size. And this is on the colorist papers, which I'm really finding are really fun mm -hmm. as against all the other things that are going on. Now, right. I want to point out that these photos are black and white, mm -hmm. and yet the edibles coming in with the color with the cardstock are really adding some color right. and going along with the colorist paper tools. It's, so it's really, really nice. a beautiful look. At that. that's, yeah. that's perfect for those edibles. I love adding the little dazzles, um, strategic points of around in the edibles uh, cut work as well. Just makes a nice look. Okay, we're going to go into the butterflies now. This is butterfly dreams, right? And uh, this that's is the a one there. Yeah. Okay. That, well, bring it in. Did you <laughs> sure. get to see it, everybody? So okay. That's what butterfly dreams uh, looks like, and it's the same idea. This part that you see on the bottom will not get cut out. Just the cut work will, but the top half does get cut right. out. Right. And in this case, just like those flowers, the butterflies are cut. They're slit, so they can right. be lifted up. A little bit of inking mm -hmm. or chalking was done. So you notice that uh, there is some embossed areas too. This is where that textures embossing mat, especially on this one, you can really right. see, was used to really get the embossing on those, the inside of those butterflies to really show. And then you can just use a stylus and uh, uh, fluid chalk ink to just sort of run over the top of that very lightly. Mm -hmm. And it it gets right on top of the embossing so you can see it a little better. Now we'll back up a little bit. Picking up those wings. Yeah. That's just a great, that's really cute. In this case, I have done that twice right. and placed it onto, this is a five inch square card. Right, so on a piece like this, so I, I cut a strip just like this, so you can see it, it right was there. just, yeah, <laughs> just about like so. And then after you cut it and emboss it, then you just snip at both ends like we did on the other one very quickly. And there we go, that has released that piece. Don't get the little antennas hung up in there. <laughs> there we go. And then the wings are already cut, ready to pull up. You can ink it, top and, and bottom. It gets three dimensional like this. Now the other thing that's going on is that this is an easel card. So we've scored it parallel to the fold, just glued our uh, top piece just there at the bottom. Right. So, and on the inside, it's sitting up against a ribbon that has been foam taped in place. So you really want to foam tape underneath those mm -hmm. loops. And some butterflies were cut out separately. So right. really. So you can see when you look at this, you can pretty simply cut those out. Just follow the little outline going around just like that. That's one little butterfly wing. And then just follow them around. Just make sure you leave that little sixteenth of an inch gap. And I'm doing a real quick job, but you can see that 
pretty quickly that'll be loose and you'll be able to use those on the inside of your card. Very nice. So there you go. Another example of how you can use them, but we're not done yet. Oh. We have more. <laughs> now this is using which one? Okay. I think this so is it's a kind of a lattice one. Yeah. There this, we go. And it's it is called the doily the lattice. Doily lattice. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? It is gorgeous. So right off the bat, that looks like one card altogether, it but does. this piece slides off. Oh, it's a belly band. It's a belly band. Okay. <laughs> so as you slide that off, Good, you can see... Good, because I was trying to figure out how I was going to open up this gatefold Debbie card. <laughs> this one piece of black cardstock. From here, you know, from here all the way down here, she used the doily lattice on the top and on the bottom, and she actually cut a square window in the center oh. of that so that she could back it with paper and then place that belly band on we'll the back. We'll get in close so you can really see that. So we've got the two pieces and... It's, it, it's just one big piece of cardstock okay. that's been cut, cut at twice. the top and at the bottom. You okay. just turn it around, cut at the top and then cut it at the bottom and then cut that square uh, rectangle in the center so right. you can back with paper. Very neat. Which, you know, as I'm looking at that, mm -hmm. I, I want to say, I, I know that she cut a square in the center. That's really not absolutely necessary. You could just place a right. piece of, on top of it. gray, uh, that paper right on top. So you wouldn't actually really have to cut that window. It's a, it's a different look. but And then the belly band has been uh, it's just a strip of card stock. Um, placed all the way around. It's like a ring of it right. attached here. And I love the little butterflies. Yeah, let's the get into see that. On there. So some so of those are dazzles. Silver stickles that is going into the uh, any area of the dazzle. And those are from the honeysuckle scrapbooking dazzles, and, which includes those little pink flowers that you see okay. sparkling up that And then piece. on the inside, we have your sweet like honey. Very it was nice. It's just a big, beautiful gateful and card. And I just think that's a neat idea. The belly band just slips over. And, you know, yeah. even as I'm doing that, this is pretty sturdy. I right. mean, it looks very, very delicate, mm -hmm. um, but it's quite sturdy, and so that's been well engineered. Now, we're going to slip into uh, our, um, with words, the edgeables right. with words. The edgeables, so, uh, it's called only words, and right. these are going to do the same thing. What you see here is down on the bottom, they're not going to cut out this rectangular shape. They're going to cut out what you see inside here. They're going to cut out these words. But up on the top, they do cut all along that edge. So you can use this on an edge as well. OK, so we've the first card is combining the two. So we have the uh, Ren Renaissance. Renaissance and, and the Just For You. Right. And I'm going to need that one. And Great. it looks like that. It so does. you want to show so, that? So it's longer. Like we've said, these are also about 5.3 by, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter tall. Right. And for this one, Lene, I'm going to reach past you. Mm -hmm. Actually, why don't you show the card? Yeah, let me show you the card because that makes more sense. That. So here we go. This card, amazingly, has a fold at the bottom. And you can <laughs> see this wonderful flourish, just this rich Renaissance mm -hmm. uh, edgeable at the top. The Just For You has been uh, die cut over paper that was glued to the cardstock. Exactly. Stock. Yes. Okay, so here's that card. Here's how it started. Opened up like this. Lene cut it to the width of one of these. So it's about five and a quarter inches is what she cut it to. Mm -hmm. And then she placed this die with the edge of it right up at the edge of that card. So when it was cut, if you open that up, you'll see just it, that it looks just like that. Right. So that's the first part. Then she takes the front of her card, covers, covers it, with, it paper. with paper, <laughs> and then she measured down one and seven eighths inches. And I made a mark there. That's the where the uh, top of this die is going to be set. That's where she placed it. And that's so that you right can see there. the edgeable on the Right, so right. that you'll be able to see that cut work that was done there. And you place it on that pattern paper, and once that is cut through, it actually cuts off this whole piece on top. Ah, so then they've got go. the just for you. So i show it to you there. And how elegant that looks. So all you need is a little bit of 
pattern paper at the mm -hmm. bottom, maybe a dazzle border, a right. little bit of ribbon, mm -hmm. and and it's finished. And you've got room to write a message. It so is a really elegant looking it card. It's just interesting that it folds down from mm -hmm. the you know with the fold on the bottom. Now you can also do it. We're going to go to the thanks so much one. And you can cut that out of a specialty paper, in this case the uh, silver linen, the silver linen, and glue that to the front of your card. So you right. have an example of that. I do. Okay. So this is the same, the same thing. Uh, you place. I placed that. If you can see it here, I place it so that uh, I had a little bit of room between the top of the word and the top of that specialty paper. Okay. But then you've got to cut it from here to the edge and it was a little bit longer I didn't want to just use scissors and make it go kind of zigzaggy so I got a cutting mat and my retractable pen knife and a metal edged ruler and then I lined up those two cut marks there's one at each end here's one and the other one is right there I line that up with the ruler and then I cut through like that from the edge of the specialty paper to that little cut mark didn't miss it. And then, then you can remove it like this so that you can see that word. I was pop wondering out. about the innies of the letters because they were still there. So right. when you pull that off, right. it evacuates them. Then you can them. see it perfectly. And that okay. is basically the front of your card. Wow, that is super elegant <laughs> and super simple. So again, same idea. Uh, just adding a couple of embellishments, really simple. This is the uh, glitter velvet ribbon right. that doesn't rub off, just mm -hmm. a knot in there. Adding some of the Petaloo flowers, which is lovely, and um, just a striking card. And it's done, the whole thing is done on black cardstock. Yeah. So I had to first create the card from black cardstock with that fold, and then. And then yeah. on the inside, so that piece that you pulled out, is no, that what this is? No, nope. this is another one. Okay. okay, so I have to show you this okay. as well. <laughs> so make another one, okay? Get out your retractable pen knife and your metal ruler, and from this edge, which is the top edge, which is running all the way through here, the top edge of that paper, go over about a sixteenth of an inch. It's a about, little bit. Yeah, see, so you're going to make an, a line about even with this cut line, and you're going to cut it off completely. Okay. Let me make sure that I didn't, that I'm saying the correct thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a generous sixteenth of an inch, yeah. by the way. But I am cutting it Might off. Might be closer to an eighth, people. <laughs> uh, okay, and try not to miss. <laughs> Stay yeah, along. Or wiggle. Yeah, I'm staying along the edge of that metal ruler. My, ah, oh, I went right. <laughs> I'm doing it sort of at an angle from where I am, and yeah. I went off the edge a little bit. Okay, so but. that is it after you've cut it. But what about the little descenders that hang down, the little ah. tails of those pieces? I, I saved them all when I first ran this through. I saved all those people, pieces from underneath, and then you just line them up, and you can see just sort of glue them underneath okay. afterwards. So the descender on the Y and the T, so just add those. Just really, really right. pretty. Because when you cut this out, you get those. They do, you don't have to cut them individually. They okay. pop right out. Just save them and okay. place them. Okay, so very lovely. Now, we are going to go to the uh, happy birthday, wherever it is, there it okay. is. So, uh, wishing, wishing you Wishing you happy birthday, and for my special friend. These are both used on the next card, and I think a super unique way. And don't forget, when you look at these, they're always a little bit bigger, and this is a really unique way of using them. And this is going on a this. bendy card. <laughs> so for my special friend, wishing you a happy birthday. Wow. Isn't that great? That's <laughs> wow. just wonderful. So just do those, each one of those, on a strip of white card stock. And you've got that border piece for these two angles, which are already built into this card. Very fun. I. I have to tell you, I don't think you can go wrong with a bendy card. I think they always make really striking cards. spectacular, and now, this one in particular for me. This is going to ship flat, 
just like so. Mm -hmm. So they really get the look of it right there. Right. And um, I think it's really sweet that a little bow has been placed right there at the edge where that's going to slip in. And of course, this one's going to slip in first. And that's just a piece of paper on the inside back of right. the card. And this is the Happy Days paper pack, which has that banner artwork up at the top, right. which is just perfect. And Debbie added some jewel border dazzles on there and underneath each of those uh, those word strips. There we go. Just, just gorgeous. Wonderful. Isn't that sweet? Now, if you are a scrapbooker, think about this in terms of titling your pages oh. how super easy oh, this yeah. would be and and dramatic right. also and we showed that uh, scrapbooking page yes. where uh, Susan used the floral edge uh, edibles on the mm -hmm. edges you could use the journaling on the edges of matting a photo certainly as well. lots of options so I just always like to have that this is paper crafting that we're doing although we do show quite a few cards so sure. so what we have are again in the edibles We've got two styles. We've we have, got the edibles themselves, which are just these fantastically intricate pieces. And then we have the only words edibles. <laughs> and they're all in there, mix and there match. There we go. <laughs> and we uh, do have that, I think. Uh, they're, they're available separately. And then we put them into a couple of bundles to save you some money. Sure. And please join us tomorrow. We're going to wrap up this week of webisodes. And we'll see you then. See you then.